Hi everybody, welcome to this unboxing video of the Mercedes-Benz Unimog U1300L Winterdienst by Revel in 124th scale. It's a really good sized box here, so looking forward to seeing what's inside. They've got it down as skill level 4, so not for the beginner necessarily. On the front we've got this very nice illustration showing a Unimog at work clearing snow. Same illustration on the side there, uh, and on the box ends, and same illustration on this side as well. On the back of the box, we have some general information uh, about the Unimog itself, uh, and some photographs showing details of the built-up model, which is always very nice to have on the box, uh, together with an illustration showing some or most of the parts trees there as well and a paint guide as well okay great there's also a QR code there as well I've not scanned that to see where it takes you I imagine it takes you to the Revel website so let's get in the box and see what's in there in flap opening box typical Revel uh, not super keen on that really I prefer the lift up box tops that we get from the Japanese and American manufacturers but I suppose it doesn't matter too much at the end of the day so what's in here um, God, I still nowhere near all of it Good grief. Okay. <laughs> right, what's in here? Let's start at the bottom and work our way up. So, first of all, we have a uh, cab moulding there. Straight away, looking at the start of the moulding, I suspect this model dates from a couple of decades ago, if not more. Just something about the very, very sharp edged moulds. Uh, a little bit of flash there, just a little bit. Again, suggesting it might not be very might not be a new uh, design. Also some unfortunate things like where some of the uh, uh, joining points are to the sprue, to the frame. They're in places that are going to leave a, a mess when you cut them off. That's not ideal. Okay, what else is here? We have a large bag. There's a lot of parts of this kit. I think the box actually said something like 246 parts. So. No wonder we've got a lot to see here. Okay, in this bag we have a lot of really, really bright orange pieces. Um, let's wrestle this up. Okay, so in here, first of all, I can't even tell straight away what all these pieces are. Um, yeah, that's really a mystery to me what's on there. I think here we have pieces to make up the grit spreading appliance that goes on the back of the Unimog. Uh, here, I think we've got the sides of the load bed. Other things, I really have no idea what all is. Uh, this, I assume, represents the the tilt, the canvas cover over the over the gritting equipment. I think this is probably the bottom of the load bed. Yet more unidentifiable pieces there as well. There's a lot going on in this kit. It's going to be important to very, very carefully study the instructions. I don't think you can make too many assumptions about what's what. Quite a nice clear orange sprue here with various uh, beacon, various beacons, I suppose, flashing beacons. That's a really, really nice thing to include. The fact that it's included, again, makes me think this kit probably dates back to the days before the modern generation of clear paints was available. Um, and hence that would be a really, really important thing to, to include for people. Okay, this bag is taped up, so let's see if I can get in here. So a lot going on with this kit. Right. Okay, a bit of a wrestling match to get these out. So, oh wow, and then things are even separately polybagged inside there. Okay, I'm not going to open all of these right now. Um, we've got... I think chassis parts there, front front mud guards, mirrors, yeah, probably uh, the insides of the doors, bumpers. I think we've got there, probably the diesel tank there, clear sprue, packaged up separately as well. Very nice to see, good, well protected, windscreen, quarter lights, uh, various lamp lenses there as well. That's good. What's here? We've got the cab doors, uh, cab floor, interior seats, front grille with Mercedes-Benz badge, 
one or two other bits and bobs for the cab there by the looks of it. And then a really big sprue, really big frame with the wheel fronts, wheel backs, I think probably uh, brake discs, if a Unimog has disc brakes, I don't know. Dashboard, the four wheel drive system components there, what looks like a transfer box with drive shafts. Um, wow, yeah, steering wheel, suspension components, and the chassis frame there as well, which is in one piece, which is pretty good. Uh, that'll hopefully give it a, a nice amount of rigidity for when you come to build it. Okay awful lot in this kit there really is um what else do i get i get a sort of safety leaflet there okay i get some gray flex gray rubber coated cable there okay i also get some tires here let's break these open and take a look all right look at that nice meaty looking off-road tire or winter tire with Dunlop moulded into the sidewall. It's good to see, really good to see. Uh, and it's hollow as well. If you can see that, it's actually a hollow, hollow tyre as well. Not often I see that. Okay, what else do we have? We have a decal sheet here. Really nice decals actually. Schmidt, which I think is the manufacturer of the equipment that goes on the back, the gritter and so on. Vehicle badging, uh, all these safety hazard panels. License plates for, I guess, different parts of Germany. I think these are probably local authority emblems, council or, or highways department, whatever they might be. A uh, whole load of logos here. I don't know what these are all for. Jongerius, Unterwege Dolash. Yeah, not sure what they're all for. No doubt the instructions will tell us about that. So let's take a look. And this is, oh wow. <laughs> There's some actual real chain silicate onto the front of the instructions there. Okay, good stuff. Really nice photograph showing the built-up model on the front there. This instruction booklet is lovely. It's glossy, it's thick, colour, at least colour on the front at least. It looks like it might even be full colour. Yeah, it is. Look at this. Even the even the guidance instructions, the safety and so on and so forth, even that's in colour. Uh, wow, lots of information going on here. Paint guide here. Extensive paint guide actually, and then I think we begin with a parts diagram. Several pages of parts. That's really, really nicely done actually. Very good. Hats off to Revel for that one. Very nicely done. And then we're into the instructions, which show uh, obviously the assembly beginning with. Engine assembly, which looks relatively simple. Putting the engine into the chassis and then drivetrain, exhaust, suspension. There's quite a bit going on there. Yeah, quite a few parts going in. Looks quite detailed, really. Uh, yeah, wow, look at this. We're page after page, and we're still dealing with suspension, drive drivetrain uh, components here. There's an awful lot on the chassis. Um, wow, we're still going. <laughs> page 16, and we're still on the chassis, and uh, uh, diesel tank now going on. What looks like a locker equipment box, probably. Um, there's an awful lot here. I think this is a, the sort of kit where you'd want to sit and study the instructions with the individual kit parts for a couple of evenings before going anywhere near making a start with it. Um, yep, and the cab going together, interior going in, uh, separate doors with their uh, various hinge, uh, pieces to make them hinge properly. Okay, so some options there for people who want to, to have the vehicle with doors posed open, for example, in a diorama. Yeah, safety beacon, mud guards going on, lots of exterior detail pieces going on there as well. Uh, then the rear body going together, the gritting equipment, the gritter being assembled. There's quite a bit to that on its own by the looks of things. Yeah, I mean, there's really just too much to take in by simply flicking through this. Uh, it, as I said, I think it really needs very careful deliberation. Here we go. Getting ready to assemble the, the main model here with the cab, rear body and uh, chassis all coming together. Gritty going on the back. And then we've got a couple of pages showing decal placement and painting guide. They really, really haven't spared attention on this. There's an awful lot of information. Look at this yet more as well. Uh, I guess depending on what version you want to do, 
they've given the decal placement and painting guide brick version although the basic colors seem to be orange with a blue tarpaulin cover over the back except for this version which is a kind of a duck egg blue and then we're back to orange on the back there it's really quite a kit as i said i suspect it probably dates from from many years ago but for what you get in the box uh, I, I picked this up actually in a model shop in germany and they were having a sale so this cost me the equivalent of about 30 pounds which i suppose is uh what's that about 40 45 dollars 40 dollars us and um 35 euros probably i think it actually was 35 euros when i bought it so it's an unusual subject uh, quite looking forward to seeing how it goes together i have to admit i'm quite daunted by the parts count there this is not going to be something that you start on a sunday afternoon and finish off on the following friday night this is uh this is going to take an awful lot of putting together however i think there's the potential to make it really really something okay thanks very much for watching